Hi, everybody. I'm Gordon Goodman. That's my good friend, Wayne Bergeron. How you doing? And I, can, and I can wear paint because I'm comfortable with who I am. Okay, take two. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about Too Close for Comfort, which I understand you're playing on your smart music system. Is that right? Good choice. Smart music rocks. And um, this chart is a chart that was written for the great Diane Reeves, who recorded it with the Big Fat mm -hmm. Band. Uh, we did that at Capitol Records. And, uh, boy, you know, she's the bomb. She, man, she's the real deal. We had, we had a great she's time. Really but what I really enjoyed about her performance is that it was kind of like the old days, you know, where uh, Billy May or Nelson Riddle would write a chart for Sinatra, and Sinatra becomes part of the band, right. as opposed to the band backs up the singer, yeah. you know. So when I worked out the arrangement for Diane, I tried to make it so the vocal part wove in and around the right. band. And uh, she was gracious in, in being okay with that and, and doing a great job. Now, this arrangement that you guys have, there are solo parts. If you don't have a singer to sing it, you can play it on your instrument, on alto or tenor or trumpet or trombone, um, and the band will back you up, and I think it should work really well. Um, but this is a pretty straight down the middle, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Nelson Riddle style swing chart. All right. And we, uh, we recorded it at Capitol Records, and I don't think we rehearsed prior to that. I think we just read the chart down on the date pretty much. Oh, yeah, Am yeah. Am I right? Yeah. We, I mean, we rehearsed, we rehearsed it in the studio. We read it down for notes yeah. and mm -hmm. made sure it was straight ahead. Then we did a take or two until Diane was happy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Do you, uh, I mean, is there anything that's particularly... Uh, you know, I remember when we were doing this, I mean, the first part of this all pretty straight ahead, but like 69, I remember when the trumpets go, we answer... And then between the vocal thing there, mm -hmm. yeah. and when we first played this, we were going. Yeah. And I, Diane might have even said, made a comment which goes, hey, "That needs to be thicker sounding or something," uh -huh. you know. Yeah. And, and trumpets, we were playing like you know, a bunch of white boys basically. <laughs> Pretty much. And, uh, and 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 I think that was a good comment. So we fattened that up. And it sounds great. It sounds fantastic. It sounds really great now. So that's something you might want to. You just put a little more weight on that little mel melody there. And when you get to the uh, um, the little band feature, which is bar 93, there's a key change, right? And um, the band really swings hard. You mean you really yeah. have to swing this figure, right? Yeah. In, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And uh, once again, my thing about articulating triplets in bar 95. Now, I'm looking at the way it's phrased here, and there's a slur. You know. Yeah. But, but if we did it that way. No, we articulate it. Yeah. And then, but it makes a nice contrast from the other stuff, because we're really rolling the eighth notes. You know what I mean? It breaks up the phrase nicely, actually. Yeah. Right? And then a big, nice lift trills here, Mark 101 and 102, yeah. right? Yep. Um, how fast are those trills? Uh, well, Sorry, tempos, like here. Bad out. Bad out. You know. A little bit faster than... Yeah, a little bit faster. But, you know, and the reason for that is, is if I didn't have a note to play after this trill, I might do... But since I have to go, bad, that, right. so I need to get the point across quicker and be accurate on mm -hmm. that note. Right. Bad out, bad out. So I usually kind of base my, my shakes usually on the tempo of the tune. The faster the tune, the faster the shake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In general, you know. Uh, okay. Um, there's a couple of dynamic things that I'm looking at here at bar 105, everybody. Do 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 bop bow crescendo yeah. to that bar, and then the same thing a couple bars later. This I remember was a very effective passage for us. The 107 went away. Yeah. Fat notes here. One bat bat bat, not too short, kind of thick notes. Now, okay, so then, then do we come down in, in, in volume at the downbeat of 108? We did. We went bat 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 boom da 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 da. And I think we probably pulled back on the second half of 108. Yeah, right? I don't think we could stop ourselves. Do 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 da 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 da. You know. Yeah, I think we just got to. Dug into that. Kind of an effective thing, you know, yeah, pretty yeah. standard issue uh, thing that we do. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trombones, right after that, a bar 110. Do da ba ba ba, another crescendo. Um, we make sure we observe that stuff. So, yeah, so anyway, yeah, the chart is uh, 
you know, really a stomping chart to play. If you've got a singer like Diane Reeves, you're in business. If not, give Wayne a call because Wayne is a let's sing a little something for you. Well, you heard me singing. Ba ba ba. I can I can't sing lyrics. I only sing horn licks. <laughs> okay, so it's well, not not quite as effective. You know, you know. You know. Yeah, Boom a doo da da da. There's a place for everything in this yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to learn more about Wayne Bergeron, go to Wayne Bergeron. Dot com. Dot com, exactly. And you want to learn more about the Big Fat Band or me, go to <laughs> GordonGoodwin.com. Thanks for picking up Too Close for Comfort. Uh, this is Gordon Goodwin. Wayne Bergeron. Okay.